so this is the book and and the thing i always like to say about the book really before anything else is that this is my mother-in-law's painting and it hangs in our um it hangs in our living room this is just a a detail of the the um top left quadrant that um it's funny because and and the reason that is is because my publishing house sent me a bunch of things and one of them was really pretty and abstract and everybody lo loved it and i was like yeah but you know we have something better hanging on my wall <laughs> let me take a picture <laughs> and so they used it it was very thrilling to me and then um, my daughter my younger daughter is a photographer and she took that picture isn't that so great that's fabulous <laughs> it's like the only picture of myself i like it's because i'm looking at someone i love so much you know, um that i can i can manage to look at it and then and then my other daughter who is a a, a painter and a drawer um she did all of these little, I, you might have had a galley, so you might not get this, but there's a little drawing after every title of every story. So anyway, it's all, all very artistic in our family and I like that very much. Oh um, my gosh, I love that it's a family that, that, that so much of your family is in it as well as you, that is so beautiful. I love it too, it makes me really just kind of love the physical book um, more than I ever have. I, I, it's just a little treasure for me. Um, the only person who's missing is my husband, but I've already identified the the painting on the wall that he did for my next um, my next book. It's perfect, and I really hope my publishing house agrees. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks. So anyway, I, I um, you I haven't answered your question, but the, um, these span quite a number of years, like two decades, basically, of writing short stories. Um, and I usually just write them, I, I mean, I wrote them in high school and in college and in grad school, but none of the ones, <laughs> none of the short stories that I, that I wrote then are made it here. Uh, but afterwards, I started writing short stories kind of in between breaks um, of novels, you know, when I was, <clears throat> when I, in between novels and then, and then when I got stuck and I just needed to take a long break and explore something else and play around with something that didn't involve quite as large a commitment. Um, and, and so I've been doing that for, uh, you know, probably the first one was written in like 98 or 99 when I was writing my first novel. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And I, I wanted to ask, how much did you think about about order because I felt like the stories flowed so interestingly into each other and provided such interesting contrasts but also connections did what did you was that something you thought about a lot a lot yeah <laughs> my editor and I worked really hard on that I mean <clears throat> there were things you know four of them are from a male point of view and mm. so we wanted to kind of separate those and then and then a few of them have have adolescents in them, and we wanted to kind of separate those two. And um, and then three of them have narrators who eventually, if they're not already writers, they they kind of eventually will become writers. And uh, and at first I thought maybe that those were that was sort of a triptych that would be separate, or maybe at the end or something like that. Um, but then then I, I felt like it was better to kind of start there like have them i think of them as sort of three pillars that are holding up the yeah. um the collection and so creature you know we start with a 14 year old narrator um <clears throat> who discovers in the course of this um uh, part of her summer that she loves to write and uh and <clears throat> and she reveals to us that that she would become a writer in the future and then in um in timeline it's kind of a woman in her 20s, just, just starting to make a commitment to writing. Um, and then the man at the door, the last story is a more mature writer, but, but um, still not a successful writer, not a writer who's published anything, has published a book yet, um, but much closer to it. So, I feel like the way you write about the development of writers and I mean that first story um you know this this young woman kind of reading Jane Eyre 
um, which is so, which is such a rite of passage, I think, for <laughs> for for many writers. I don't know, maybe maybe just for me. But I I was like, oh yes, the summer I read Jane Eyre, and yeah. and <laughs> you know I it's just I feel like you tap into this moment where of 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 all the knowing that the teenagers have at that moment and all the things that they don't know. They're so they're so knowledgeable. They've observed so much, particularly these teenagers who are kind of tuned into the writing, the observing, they've lived through a lot, but also they haven't processed any of it and they kind of have no idea. And I feel like you write about that moment, that cusp moment, mm. in such a poignant way. It just, it just, it's really electric. <laughs>